Okay, and she's looking brand new and I just got her back so I'm going home now. And welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications, and outdoor stuff with knives. Um, sorry, it's still raining, kind of, and I'm sitting under my see-through roof. Check the video on that. And I got this thing that I want to show you. Now, I found this thing at a small little Chinese shop. Um... Close to where I live, but on my way on holiday this year. Anyway, it says fruit knife, and then it shows us this army guy with his AR fully kitted and his full kit, and then we have a knife covered in skulls. That does seem like a fruit knife. Okay, and there it gives us an item code. I don't know if you will ever find anything like this or if you would ever want to. Okay, I'm quickly going to take it out of its package. To take it out of its awesome package, um, I used my PM2. This is an awesome knife. S45VN, all blacked out, wonderful. Yes, okay, so I used that guy. And I'm showing you that thing because I'm waiting for a project knife like that that I bought new hardware for and whatnot that I want to tune up. Okay, so let's look at this thing. Okay, first you have that. You should really go watch JJ Jinx. Whenever he takes off one of these things, he says, Peek, and it's funny. Anyway, um, I see a nail neck. It's like this, I don't know, the stuff Buck used. The FRN or glass fed nylon or whatever um, with little skulls on it that's quite nice we have a little ball and chain bead lanyard with like a little back spacer there i see a back spring and i see nothing else it's supposedly a slip joint okay well it slips but now opening it one-handed ah okay all right, walk and talk actually on this thing. Um, although I had to bite it with my teeth to get it to do that, but surprisingly good spring tension on this thing. Okay, but once it goes, it goes quite quickly and then it snaps quite hard. Let's see, centering. So I have to take it out from under the thing. Okay, centering looks pretty good actually just wait a second I'm seeing a little bird here in the corner of my roof I hope he's alright his one foot looks a bit sore or mangled shame maybe it was because of the storm okay I'm gonna do something with the bird and then we're gonna braai Oh, I also went to fetch my Bucky earlier. I think I already showed you footage of that. And I'll show you pictures of it at the end. I gave the thing new lights and new tires. Yes. Heaps of money later. And now she looks like a new Bucky again. And it was a 2090 at Hilux 2.7. Um, well, it was. It still is. But now it just looks new again. Okay, so I'm going to use this for my Brian knife today. And yes. Okay, we just had a fantastic thunderstorm. Um, you see, it's been raining so much, my one stump is turning into a mushroom farm. Anyway, but it's time to start the fire, because we need to braai some steak. Because it's raining, Gary is out. That's that huge snail that I showed you previously. Anyway, fire is on, so let's braai. Okay, wait, this is awesome, I just saw this. When you look at this thing from a distance, we see skulls and stuff. But when you look at it close, do you see the relief over there? It's like a picture printed into the effort with like a skull standing there with a sword and his little hands. They're like raised and his robe is like raised. Same thing on the back. How awesome is this? If you look at it from afar, is, well, now I can't stop seeing the skull guy with the sword. But when you saw it in the beginning, you saw the skulls with me, right? 
anyway, this thing is marvelous. We have our steaks, very thin little things in here with Coca-Cola and lemon juice, but they've been lying there for a the whole day, pretty much. My wife wanted it like that. And then Woolworth's braai seasoning. So we'll see what that's like. And then me and the kid, we're playing darts. Fire is still very hot, so I don't think I'm going to put anything on here yet. But apparently the little guy decided it's time to braai marshmallows. So let's see if that's going to happen. Oh yes, there we go. Mmm, delicious marshmallows. Today we're doing pink and white ones. He doesn't braai them too much. So this is what these guys look like. They're going to go into the fire now. So let's see what this one is like. Why is he hiding it? Oh, it's delicious, soft, all the, and then he's running away because I ate two of his previous ones. So these sad looking guys are on the fire. They look a bit bland and they're too thin to get anywhere close to medium, but it's still a braai. And we'll still be eating them with potatoes and sour cream and lots of butter. And the kids still toasting delicious marshmallows. Yummy. You want some? Okay, first turn. And we're doing this Woolworth seasoning. I never tried this stuff before. It looks a bit fine, but let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, it, it seems very fine. Maybe it's fine. Uh, maybe it's not, because it's blowing into my eyes as I'm chucking it everywhere. Okay. First sight done. I'm going to call these things done. Um, yeah, this is all I'm going to show you. All of you, stay safe, happy, have a good one. And I'll show you... That's my son. And I'm going to show you pictures of the Bucky. Goodbye. Thank you.